Welcome back to iAstack. In this video, I will show you how to create custom directive in Angular 14. Here I have an Angular project running already in my local server. So I created this project from scratch. I use the ng new command to generate this new project. So let's begin. So far you have uh, used many other built-in angular directives. For example, maybe you have used, uh, let me delete this one first. So for example, we have this element here and you might have used ng4 directive and you also have used ng if directive. There are many more directive like ng class. So these are the examples of the built-in Angular directives. So in this video, we are going to build a custom directive from scratch. So this would be very easy and straightforward process. So I will explain everything. So right now you can see that uh, I have this very basic uh, Angular uh, div. So this is HTML div and I have some text in it. Now I am going to generate a custom directive so let's generate it to generate angular directive you have to run this command ng generate directive and obviously you should have the angular cli installed already in your system then this command will work so i am writing ng generate directive space and then you will write the name of the directive that you want to create so i want to create a directive for example i would name you can name it anything i'm going to name it change me okay and i want to place it inside a different folder for example i want to put it in the shared directives slash change me and this in this way it will create these folders for you like shared directives and it has created this directive for us so and you can see that these files have been generated and also it has updated our app module if you go to the app module then you will notice that this directive has been declared in this module automatically you did not have to do anything after that uh, if you go to this directive that you just generated here you will see that this is a very basic and simple class without any code in it and you can see that it also has added a selector for you so you can use this selector to element for example uh, let's copy this name and go back to your app dot component dot html and here you just have to add that uh, uh, selector like this and as soon as you add it it will start doing its magic so let's go back to the directive and in this directive i am going to inject the element reference so with the help of that i would have access to this uh, uh, html element where i have added this directive okay so just add private element element ref so when uh, while you are typing in the vs code it uh, actually shows you some suggestions so for example i'm typing it so you can see that it is showing me this suggestion that uh, you can import it from here if you click on that or if you press enter then this will automatically import that library for you so this would be useful for you if you don't know about that now we have injected this element reference into this constructor so now we can have access to that uh, html element and then we can make changes to that element let's uh, try to make some changes for example so if you type uh, this dot element dot native element dot style dot background color red then if you reload it you will see that the red color has been added i will show you again if you look at here 
uh, we did not add any styling I did not add any styles okay I just added this directive and I am added those styles with the help of the directive and you can see that it is being applied if I make any change for example I add yellow then you will see that the background is yellow now so similarly you can add multiple styles if you want for example if you want to change the color of the text then you can just add style dot it is a uh, very simple and it is the same thing like you do in the javascript so here in the native element you have the dom element and now if you get the dom element in the javascript you can easily manipulate that element you can easily style so uh, after uh, after this part everything is same like in javascript so if you know javascript how to uh, customize a dom element uh, then you can do this as well so i change the color to black let's see uh, it was already black so i will try blue okay let's try some more visible color green i guess uh or red okay you can see that uh, background is also changed and the color is also changed if you want to uh, add some text in the element then you can do that as well for example this dot element dot native element dot inner inner text is equal to i am changed okay you can see that it is being applied uh, it is not replacing it it is just adding so if you add inner text here uh, you will notice that uh, it will be prepended it will be added in, in the beginning of the text so this is how you can add a text uh, by using inner text so the last thing i would like to show you that you can also add inputs here for example if i add input my name okay so if i i have something in this variable i will add it in this area okay so right now you can see that uh, nothing is being shown here uh, because uh, by default the value is empty and if you go back to the html then uh, you can provide that input like this my name is equal to uh, you don't need the scale brackets if you don't want to use javascript so as i just want to pass the static uh, uh, plain string so i will just pass it like this okay so i have saved it and but it did not work the reason is that the input is not available in the constructor so you have to move the input inside the engine in it and you will see that alert is also showing and text has been replaced so this is how you can access the inputs in the engine in it if you go back to the html you can easily change it anything okay you can see that this is how you can pass your inputs you can define as many inputs as you want so i hope that this video was useful for you if you have any questions then please uh, ask them in comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon thank you